This is the Boatstones episode of the Ohio Historical Society's Windows to Our Collections, Ohio's Ancient Past podcast series. You should be at the third Living in Society case. The Boatstones are in the Middle Woodland period drawer on the left. We're here at the third Living in Society exhibit looking at some interesting Boatstones. Boatstones are a curious uh, kind of artifact. Uh, they're usually rectangular in form with curving tops. They're often hollowed out on, underneath, which has brought archaeologists to the point of calling them boat stones because they look kind of like boats or canoes. Well, and they were used over many millennia, from the archaic period all the way through the Adena, Hopewell, and late woodland cultures, but their exact function is something of a mystery. Mm -hmm. uh, here in this exhibit, we have four particularly uh, special boat stones. Uh, they are special because they are effigy forms. Uh, there are four birds, one mammal, a beaver, and another that has the uh, geometric cross-hatched lines incised on the surface. Three of the birds are Hopewell culture artifacts from Sight Mound at Ross County. Mm -hmm. There's a lovely owl. Uh, you can see the very typical owl eyes and beak, and the, the feathers are delicately carved. There's a duck that's rather more abstract than the owl, but still recognizably a duck. And then there's this uh, beautiful thing identified here originally as a, uh, a turkey vulture, but if you look at it, it's probably much more clearly a woodpecker pecking at a tree. Uh, the fourth bird uh, comes from the Hopewell Mound group. Uh, it represents the peregrine falcon, uh, and the details of the feather patterns, the pearls inset in the eyes are very reminiscent of the hawk pipes from the Tremper Mound. Those eyes are beautiful. <clears throat> Uh, the only mammal in the group here is this beaver effigy. And although it's, the details are kind of sketchy, the eyes are just little circles, you can barely see the ears and the, the limbs are just little nubbins, but it has that very distinctive scaly tail that certainly identifies it as a beaver. Uh, the final one also comes from Tremper. Uh, it is designed with a series of, of crosshatch lines on four quarters of the piece, very symmetrical. Uh, some archaeologists have suggested that that crosshatch pattern is to represent the carapace of a, of a beetle of some kind. Uh, like many of the other boat stones, this one has two holes drilled uh, through the top, suggesting that it was attached to something, but we really don't know what. Mm -hmm.